I did it! What's up guys, I'm Shane, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, before we head over to the Ritos, I managed to get over here, and we're gonna have one memory right at the beginning of the episode. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around. At least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the King's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! Yeah, so Zelda, not here for your crap. Which is cool, but again, that's like one of the first ones you're gonna see. Which is, it's kind of funny that you saw one of the last ones you're gonna see before. I had to sneak around, there's another uh, Black Moblin. So I had to sneak around that. I managed to jump off the tower all the way over to that point. In case anyone needs help getting here in a three and a half year old game or however old this thing is. All right, our next objective is over there, which is fine. So we're just going to warp over to the tower and jump the other way. Wee! I didn't jump high enough. You can see the bridges and stuff over there. There's a couple ways to get here. This is the way I've always done it, though. But yeah, so this is a different stable, but this is located right at the... I did not mean to climb this tree. But I guess we're climbing this tree. Alright, here at the Rito Stable, I'm going to go ahead and steal your wood, because I still need those to get a house. Need curry rice, I do not have that. Beetle's not even here. Squirrel. Squirrel. It, instead of taking its picture, it literally jumped off a cliff and died. It hates getting its picture taken that much. But this is the first area we're getting to that has one of the four divine beasts. This will be the first one we're taking on. We're not going to be taking it on this episode. It might be in the next one, depending on how everything goes. And if you jump off and hit that, that'll actually carry you up. With your paraglider. Don't really need to do that now. I do. I love this little entryway. I just like forest levels in games. I don't like snow ones that much, which is what half of this is going to be. But I think that's because I live in New England and I get to see snow all the dang time. Oh, and here it is. The thing shrieking. We've already been watching this thing all the way across the map. The 
that's where we'll be going. And, alright, the Rito Village. Now, I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to get interrupted by anyone. I'm sure there's people to talk to, but what we're going to do... Are you one of them? This is like... I think this is a side quest. I saw it. My mom is so annoying. Oh, that's right. So she is actually important later. If you do that side quest, I think I mentioned a couple episodes ago, where you basically build a new town, you recruit her and she will come and sell stuff there. This is the hotel. No thanks, I'm only missing one heart. And rupees are still hard to come by right now. You have the general store. Which is cool. You got bomb arrows and regular arrows, all right. So, 20 for 5 arrows, 200 for 5 bomb arrows. I'll come back when I have money. Because what I need is this. 1,600. I can't even afford the pants. But I need... Uh, I probably need to at least get the pants. And combine with the warm doublet. And I think I should be okay. So I need to come up with another $300. I could just sell the diamond, but I I want to hold on to that one. So there's some stuff to do here. And I want that shrine. Because what we're going to do, we're going to talk to the elder and he's going to send us off. I don't, I think it's that way. I mean, he's going to send us into the cold somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where. I love stories. What are you telling me, Molly? Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree. Saw a huge snow white birdie. And I got some super important inside its belly. What was it? Yeah, I see that tree. So, the Snow White Birdie from that tree. Okay. And that's depressing. That you can no longer hear that from your grandpa. For pretty obvious reason. Alright, let's get the shrine registered so we can travel here. I don't believe any of the shrines around... The villages and stuff are that challenging. But we're not gonna do that right this second. Gonna continue up. And you. I'm exhausted. Cool. Alright, Cannoli. Cannelli, I'm sorry. I am Canelli, the Elder. Yes, that is the Sheikah Slate. I am the champion. Oh, that's right. He's going to call me Descendant. A couple of them actually know. Like, the Zoras know that I am actually Link. Uh, the Gerudos know I am. I don't believe the Gorons figure it out. But at least two of them know. Now, he wants me to go find Tiba, who's over there somewhere in the cold. But I don't... I don't think we can survive that right now. There's some wind over here, though. So that'll get us a boost. Don't have a ton of stamina. And actually, I am surprised there's not a Korok right here. Seems like an obvious place. Make our way across this way. And hopefully... I just want to sort of register that shrine. No, see? We can't go any further than this. We need to at least get... The, uh, what's it called? The pants. 
I think we'll be fine. Alright, so we sold a couple stones. We can at least get the pants now. Now, hopefully... Yeah, perfect. That does combine. I would like to get the rest of them, but for right now, at least we can make some progress. Alright, now the only thing... I think I actually have to talk to someone back in town. But we're already here. So I'm just gonna go get the shrine. Alright, so this is treacherous. Black Macabons on horses. Oh god. Oh good, and an ice keys, just cause, you know, we needed some more things to kill us. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Thank you. It's amazing how much of this stuff you can just run away from and be a complete coward. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just had to talk to him again. Alright. Unfortunately, Hearth was shot down by Meadow and had to retreat. Alright. Tell his wife, Saki, might be able to tell you. No. That's cool. Alright. So now let's go find his wife. Alright, so where did he go? I already know where he went, but I need you to tell me. Yeah, okay. So now we go back to where we just were. Is that a dragon all the way over there? Can I see the dragon from here? Is that something else? It's gonna be gone by the time it comes back anyways. Oh, we're getting a memory. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! What an unlikable scumbag. Alright, so now when we make our way over here... I'm gonna climb up this ladder? Yeah, there he is right there. Which is funny, so I already came in here and like looted everything. Yeah? I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Uh, I keep forgetting, like, that they made him look a lot different than everyone else. Some random Helaean wants to help me. I'm Link! 
Yep. The elder sent me. Okay. And that is... We have to kill the divine beast. So... He wants us to shoot here. Which is fine. Alright, come on. You gotta send me a test. Updraft, yada yada yada. Slow motion archery. Five targets. Three minutes to do it, though. Two, one, go. Uh, one. It's a little too far away. Okay, cool. That's fine. Two. I missed that one, too. That's alright, I got it from here. I missed. And there it is. Oh, wasted all those arrows, though. I mean, we got ten arrows right from inside there, so we actually didn't lose any. Alright. So now he's gonna help us get up to Van Meadow. Or Mito. But first, I'm open his chest. I can't. I can't take it. I have to get rid of stuff. Now I can have this. Alright. Bomb arrows are what we need. And he's gonna give us 20 of them right off the bat. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's end this episode. Let's try and at least get access to this. I'm gonna say we're gonna save Rito Village. All right, here we go. And again, we're we're gonna get there, but actually this will be the end of today's session. Every episode that you've seen so far has been recorded before you even saw the first episode. So this is probably like episode seven or eight or whatever it is. I already lost track. So we're like two months in and you haven't seen a single episode yet. But after this, that'll be the end of me recording it for a couple weeks. And I'm going to go through and beat a ton of shrines. So by the next episode, I might already have enough to get the Master Sword. So the next episode, we might just be in the Korok Forest the whole time. Let's get over the plan. Shoot the cannons. Spread your cloths and fly straight up. Don't get too close to touch it. And I've already got cold protection. That's, that's cool. All right, let's go. It's up to you. We're in hot. Shoot the cannon. Shoot the cannon. That's it. All right, let's get closer. If I can do this without wasting any bomb arrows, because you gave me 20, I think I can do this with 8? I think there's 4 cannons? Alright, that's 2 down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's 3. So we basically just gain 12 bomb arrows. That's how I'm looking at it. Do, 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 do. Boom. 
This is probably the easiest one out of all these getting in things. I guess the Zora one's not terrible. But God help me when I try and do the one to get into the, uh, what's it called? The Gerudos. But that's it. No wasted bombs. And again, now that we're in here, we can fast travel. So I can leave and it'll be fine. But clearly I need a lot better equipment to take on any of the Ganons. Also, I believe uh, Ravale is going to talk to us now. So I'm going to shut up for a Bad news, Link. It looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think... I think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that... I can make it back. You head down the middle. Good luck. It's all you. Well now, I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Alright, so yeah, we're supposed to go and get the map and do all this fun stuff, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're actually going to end the episode here, and I will be drastically changed by the next time you see me. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.